God we dance. They are God. The Holy Ghost. Hebrews 4. 12. And Jesus said. It is over. And my name is Susan Wanjongo Kehumba. And I am here to testify of God what he has done. Because I used to watch Emmanuel TV from 2008. That day I saw Lapsha. I had fasted for three days because I was following his teaching so much and I was desiring God, if this is a man of God, he's using the same Bible I am using. You can also use me. I used to desire so much, so much. Then one day I saw myself in scorn and I saw this wise man, Daniel, delivering and he told me, take that one and deliver. Then now I was so afraid because where I was serving, they didn't know about deliverance. They were saying those are salakasi. So it, it, cannot ha it can never happen. So I thought this one cannot work here. So I was looking for somewhere that I could go. I went to so many churches and I was not comfortable. Till 20, 2017, my daughter became very sick. And that time I had given up. I was giving up. Because I was saying, if, if, if I will not get deliverance, if I, my daughter will not be, will be healed, I don't know. Because I, I had given up. Also, I will also take away my life. Because even how she was threatening me. Mom, me, I don't know. I have given up also. But I had, I had mom preach through to the firm that day i twinned on uh, let me tell you it was a day and a half because i had her also the way i pastor Imara have said i thought it was it was a it was a wind the voice eh? but when i when i slept that was on a saturday i slept and i prayed i told god i have heard your servant is she a true woman of god and whatever she's talking about is it true let me tell you that night, I saw her, the way she was, and I saw myself here with her, and mentoring me, and she was very serious. She was telling me, look here, I am giving you these scriptures, you go and preach. And she told me, from now, you'll go to Burundi. At that time, I, I, it was, I had not even come here. Let me tell you, I had not come this place. So... That Wednesday, I was very, very early. By six, I was there by the door, waiting for them to open. And my, my daughter was very sick. I told, him, please, I told her, please, just stay here at home. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to look for help. And surely I got the help. Because the next week, I came with her. And when she saw, I saw mom. That was my first time that I saw her. I remembered the dream. This is the woman I saw. And she was teaching me and mentoring me. Then, when I came with my daughter, that, that the next week on Wednesday, I used to come every Wednesday, every Wednesday. That day, she, she just saw her and she was saying, I don't want that woman. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. She was possessed, let me tell you. Deliverance that has taken, it took months. And I thank God because it was done. During that time I was visiting here is when I saw prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua in my dream. And he came and told me, I know. I saw myself in scorn and he told me, I know why you are here. He greeted me. He told me, it is because of your daughter. That was the first time. Then, the same time, as we continued coming, I saw him again. And he told me, now, my sister, rejoice. And that day, we ate lies together in one plate with T.B. Joshua. We sat together. Now, the third time, I saw him again. And that time, I was still in scorn, but I never entered. I saw him. He was having the microphone. People could hear him inside the church. And he was outside. Then when he saw me, he told me, let me escort this man. I'm coming. Then we, we went. There was a river. The man closed over. Then I was waiting there. He held my hand and he told me, let's go. There, was, there is somewhere that he had prepared fire. 
You know that when, you, when the shako has burnt and it is red, red completely, he held my hand and he went, I went through that fire. Then he told me, you have gone through fire and you have not been burnt. Then we went back. He still held my hand. Then he told me, there was, still, there was still water in a trench, a big one. And inside it, there were those things that live in the water. Then he held my hand and we walked slowly by slowly. I was saying, in my heart I was saying, I was, I'm walking over the water like Jesus, the way he did. Then I went through, then he told me, my sister, you are lady, now go. Hallelujah. Because I was, I was wondering, I have seen Lapsha. I have seen Jesus talking to me and he was telling me, go prepare my people for Lapsha. I was asking myself, where will I go? Is it in the same church where they don't believe? But I could feel in myself there is something that I need. I needed deliverance. They tried ordaining me and I told them no. I'm not ready for that. Because in me, I could feel I need deliverance. And when I came here, I was delivered. And the other day, I was, I was anointed here. I remembered that dream. And I know God is preparing me. It is time. Hallelujah. I also saw mom telling me, Mama Masi, it is time. She told me like that. Mama Masi, it's time for mentorship. And I know it is the light time. I have tallied here for three years and, yeah, three years now. And I'm happy because I have not given up. I have been there because I know there is something here. Don't give up. And don't be in a hurry to go. Because God is doing something. Amen. Now he's preparing us. The anointing that we have received, I'm telling you, we are going far forward Hallelujah. and let's go greater because jesus is coming soon thank you lord praise god amen